Password managers are becoming a highly recommended solution for those who want to increase their overall security posture on the internet. Recommended by many security experts, password managers often combat what the problems are of the create and memorize uh, or the traditional process of password security. In today's video, I'm going to outline in the most of basic of terms how password managers work. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I think that you should be using a password manager. See so, yeah, what I did there? I, I didn't say cybersecurity student. Anyway, this is video two of a three-part video series where I uh, talk about and recommend password managers as a whole. In theory, password managers should provide a better solution to passwords in general. All you have to do is memorize that one master password. But really, how do they work? And are they really safe? Before I talk about uh, how password managers work, I'm going to plug a video in the cards uh, from Computer File, which breaks down password managers and password, how password managers work a little bit better than I'm going to explain today. So uh, I give credit to them in terms of how they explain that. And then the link will be in the cards. As outlined in the previous video, we have two well-known implementations of password managers. First, we have uh, local-based storage, and then second, we have cloud or remote-based implementations or, or storages. Both implementations have to follow strict standards in order to be considered a secure password managers or in order to be considered a password manager in general uh, by the industry. Both types present many possible solutions, but also types of barriers when it comes to creating password managers. So for both implementations, for example, secure a password manager, one that's considered secure that follows the guidelines. Both types, both local-based and cloud-based, provide and um, really have different solutions in terms of how they exactly implement uh, the password managers or how they really uh, build them out. But in general, password managers work like this. We have this master password, right? We have this password that's going to unlock all of our other passwords. And so for both implementations, all passwords will be encrypted and decrypted on the client side, meaning these encryptions or decryption process is going to take place on your local machine. It's not going to take place anywhere else, especially for a local based solution. You don't have to worry about going anywhere else. Now, when it comes to having a password vault in the cloud, you have to have this master password, which will unlock the vault. The master password is encrypted and decrypted on the local or client side device as well, meaning that when it's in transition or when it's in transportation to the cloud, it's always going to be sent encrypted. Okay, so we may briefly understand how master passwords work and how uh, passwords are encrypted and decrypted. But what if, let's say you're on a cloud-based solution and you send this master password un unencrypted to the database? Isn't that present a huge risk? Your master password, once again, this is for a cloud-based solution, is actually used to generate a vault key, which then this vault key is able to uh, open the vault itself. Now, the vault key goes through hashing, a hashing algorithm, where um, it will go through several thousand iterations before it gets to the cloud database to unlock the, the, the vault. This vault key then decrypts the encrypted vault, and then therefore you can get and retrieve your passwords once you have that process down. Password managers may oftentimes differ in how that process works, but that's kind of how the overall or general idea of how they will work from a cloud-based solution. Now, with local-based solutions, such as a KeePass, which is a well-known um, local-based implementation of password managers, you don't have to worry at all about the transportation process. In theory, this is considered most likely more secure. Nothing is being sent over the internet. All it is is that your device has the encrypted and decrypted uh, database of uh, the password stored within this vault, and you don't have to send the master password or anything anywhere. Everything is on one single device, and this makes it more uh, secure in general. Now, this is the issue. With a cloud-based solution, you get more convenience because then you can load your passwords onto your cell phone, your tablet, any computer that you want to log into. Whereas if you have this local-based solution, it's one specific device. Okay, so that, like I said, was a very brief overview of how password managers work. Once again, if you want to find out more exactly how the process goes about, I will recommend the card, uh, which is computer files, a take on how password managers 
passwords work. Uh, so you understand maybe the basis behind password managers, but do you know exactly which password manager to use? In the next video, I'm going to be outlining the two password managers I recommend, uh, one, the local implementation, and two, the cloud-based solution. So stay tuned for that video where I recommend which two I recommend for password managers. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, very short. And uh, yeah, if you like more of these videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you and have a good day.